Now for an unplugged lesson, we're going to talk about crowdsourcing. And crowdsourcing is so helpful and so much fun. This is really pretty simple. You'll give a example at the beginning. You've got a lot of something on the floor that you need to count for the principal and you have to get it to her by the end of the day or by the end of the period or by the end of three minutes from now. Whatever kind of urgency you want to put on it. It could be scraps of paper, buttons, pennies, doesn't really matter. But you have a big pile of them. You need your class to come in and you're going to have the class just each grab them in handfuls of ten and put them in a jar once they've been counted. So uh, someone will come grab a handful of 10, come up to you and let you know they're putting it in a jar and you can make a tally mark or you can just have them come up and grab a handful and count the handful real quick to tell you how many there were. That adds another math component to it. Uh, but at the end, they will have cycled through a few times and if you maybe have 200, it won't take long before everybody has uh, counted them all. And then you ask them, how long would that have taken me to do by myself? It would have taken me a while, but you all helped me and it only took us a couple of minutes. Then you're going to translate that into a task for them to crowdsource in groups of four or five or so. And in this, we're just going to use playing cards. And you're going to do basically 52 card pickup. You just have them scatter the cards around. Make sure they scatter it within their group circle so that the, the decks of cards aren't getting combined from group to group. Uh, they take the cards, they toss them, and then they have to sort them. You can let them decide how they're going to crowdsource it, but if the groups need help, a great recommendation is to say, you take clubs, you take diamonds, you take hearts, and you take spades and gather all those, then each of us are going to sort our suit put them back together, and then our deck will be sorted. Whatever works for them, but even if it doesn't make it easier, they're going to get that. They're going to understand sometimes crowdsourcing makes things better, and sometimes crowdsourcing complicates things. And that's a thought that you want them to explore. So let them do it however it kind of comes about, but then share out at the end. What way did you do it? What way did you do it? Was it easier for you or do you think it was harder? Was it easier for you or did you think it was harder? Was it easier for you or do you think it was harder? That will get across the idea of crowdsourcing. 